Today we're going to learn how to graph linear inequalities. Now on the board I have several examples of linear inequalities in its graph. I have x greater than 5, x less than 5, x greater than or equal to 5, and x less than or equal to 5. On my first example, I'm going to graph x greater than 5, and to graph it, you will need your number line. And in the middle, I have 0, and positive 5 is right here on the right side of your number line. And to graph greater than 5, you just need an open circle and shade your region to the right. Now, the trick here is pretty simple. If you have an arrow, pointing towards the right, your area or your shaded region will be towards the right. So that's how I remember how to shade a linear inequality graph. So if the pointed arrow is moving to the right, I'll shade it to the right. And since this is a greater than symbol, it's going to be an open circle. So if I have x less than 5, I'm going to graph it with my number line. 5 is right here, and since the arrow is pointing towards the left, I'm going to shade, shade my area moving towards the left, and I have an open circle. Now, for my example number 3 and number 4, I have x greater than or equal to 5. Now, what is the difference between the greater than or equal to symbol and the greater than symbol? The difference is pretty simple. You have your shaded circle if you have greater than or equal to as an inequality. So to shade or to graph x greater than 5, you need your number line, 0 in the middle, and 5 is right here. And since it's the greater than or equal to symbol, I have here a shaded circle going to the right. So if I have x less than or equal to 5, my shaded region is mo moving towards the left. And my circle is no longer an open circle. Now it's shaded circle to denote that I am having x less than or equal to 5, which means number 5 right here, or your integer, is included in your inequality. Now to solve and graph your linear inequality, just like what we did in our previous lessons, we're going to solve 2x plus 3 greater than 9. But this time we're going to graph it afterwards. So to solve for 2x plus 3 greater than 9, you need to have x by itself. So you will need two steps. The first step is to add, I mean, subtract 3 on both sides and divide 2 on both sides afterwards. So we have 2x plus 3 greater than 9. Subtract 3 on both sides and you'll have 2x greater than 6. Now divide both sides by 2 and you'll, your answer will be x greater than 3. And to graph your solution, x greater than 3 is denoted by this graph. So you have your number line, 0 in the middle, positive 3, and an open circle shaded towards the right. And for example number 2, I have 5 minus 2x greater than or equal to negative 21. Now to solve for x, or for the inequality, you will need two steps again to solve for x. So the first method, or the first step, is to get rid of 5, so I will subtract 5 on both sides, so I'll have negative 2x greater than or equal to negative 26. Now, if you're dividing negative on both sides, you need to remember that you need to switch your inequality because you're dividing with a negative sign. So by dividing negative 2 on both sides, you'll get x by itself, and you'll have 13 on the other side, but this time, your inequality is no longer greater than or equal to. It's now turned into less than or equal to symbol. So to graph x less than or equal to 13, this will be your graph, your number line, 0. 13 is right here on the positive side, but it's moving towards the left because it's x less than or equal to 13. For example number 3, we have 2 minus 3z greater than or equal to 7 times 8 minus 2z plus 12. Now you will need multi-step um, solution to solve the inequality, and the first step would be to distribute 7 to 8 minus 2z. So I'm using the distributive property for my first step, giving me 56 minus 14z when I distribute 7 to 8 and negative 2z. Now I'm just going to copy 2 minus 3z, greater than or equal to 56 minus 14z plus 12. And in this point on, my step would be to combine 
like terms. Now on this side of the inequality, there's no like terms to combine, so it's just going to be 2 minus 3z. However, on your right hand side, you can combine 56 and 12, leaving you with 68. So now you have 2 minus 3z greater than or equal to negative 14z plus 68. Now to solve for x, just like what we did before, we need to have the variable or z on the left hand side and our our um, number or our constant will be on this side of our inequality. So to uh, do that we need to get rid of 2 so we minus 2 on both sides and we have negative 3z greater than or equal to negative 14z plus 66. Now negative 14z should be um, eliminated by adding 14z on both sides so that all our z's will be on this side of your inequality. So we'll have 11z greater than or equal to 66. Now we divide both sides by 11 so that z is by itself. So we have z greater than or equal to 6. The inequality symbol is not switching because we're not dividing with the negative sign. So z is still greater than or equal to 6 leaving you with your graph which is this particular graph right here, you have a circle and it's a shaded circle going towards the right.